Mr. Roos. Yes, sir. A cook by trade. Yes, sir. You understand what's expected of you? I do. Yes. This is for your trouble. If you betray us, I'll destroy your entire family. Mr. Roos, we've been going over and over this all day. So, one more time. Who gave you the poison? <sighs> Mr. Roos, it is inconceivable that you should suddenly take it upon yourself to murder your master and his household after serving him so diligently these past four years. Who gave you the poison? Sir, I have three daughters. What is that to me? I want them to find good husbands. But that takes money. is already made. The account settled. You're a fool. And you will die for it. I can sign myself to God's mercy. Bless you, sir. Tell my girls I died easily, and with no pain. Head first, or however it comes. Quit tossing, concentrate for the job. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, if you'd like to take a seat, I'll be with you in just one second. Fiona, thank you. That's very good of you. Aid used to take a maximum of three minutes between patients. Unless it was absolutely necessary to spend longer. Yeah, well, that is normal. You're taking ten. There's patients sitting on the floor out there. Oh, well, this morning I've had to type up some particularly difficult cases. But I'll speed things up. I, I think it's important that we keep things moving. You should probably have one of these mints before examining patients. <laughs> I had a bit of a family thing last night. I wouldn't normally drink on a school night. <clears throat> I'll send in the next patient. <sighs> Dr. Denny. Kathy said I should see you. <clears throat> right. And here. Signing my life away. So, have you found a new doctor yet? Um, not as yet, no. No point in my applying, though. A strong woman, that Cathy. Uh, she has to be. Never had the balls to open up my own practice. I thought about it all right, but... It's a big commitment. Too big for me. There are times in your life when you just need to... leap. I never had the bottle for it, though. Thanks, Brendan. Thank you, Dr. Denny. Will you state your name for the court? Emma Cahill. And how old are you, Miss Cahill? 22. I'd like to take you back a little over a year to the evening of the 25th of September when the event the defendant is accused of took place. Can you tell the court what was happening in your home that evening? My 21st birthday party. And was this party something your parents had been planning for a long time to celebrate your coming of age? Yes. How many guests were there that evening? About a hundred. Were these guests mostly friends of yours? There were friends of my parents there too. Was the defendant there as a friend of your parents? Yes. How long have you known Miss Cattle? Since she was about four or five, maybe. So you are someone she knows quite well? Yes. She would have no reason to be afraid of you or to feel frightened to be alone with you? No, I wouldn't have thought so, no. You said that at about two o'clock in the morning you left the party and went upstairs to the main bathroom, is that correct? Yes. Did you rape Emma Cow? Of course not. Can you tell the court the name of the man who raped you? Let me put it a different way. In the bathroom on the night in question, Miss Cattle pushed you away from her. What did that tell you? You put your hand over her mouth. Did you put your hand over her mouth? I don't recall that either, no. When a woman pushes a man away from her, Mr. Ward, what does that mean to you? I think that depends on the situation, don't you? Can you tell the court what happened in the bathroom that evening? I was raped. Why would I do that? Please answer the question, Mr. Ward. Did you or did you not rape Emma Cahill? Yes or no? Okay. No, I did not rape her.